guys, we're gonna make this real quick and fast. Under three minutes, you're out of here. This is just to get you better at swimming. This has been so important to me, such a breakthrough that I have to make your own video for this. If you're anything like me, you're probably also scouting YouTube all over the place for the right videos, technique tips. You listen to triathlon coaches or swim coaches, everything you can get your hands on. If you're a triathlete, you wanna develop, wanna get better and finally swim, swim like a swimmer. There are gazillion things out there and they're all true volume you gotta swim a lot you gotta swim intensity all ranges the catch phase the pull the kick all of these things they're all important but there's one thing that connected all of the things more than ever i could imagine and dream of and i want to share that with you today so in recent weeks i had like two three things that i was thinking about the kick timing i worked on several things but now changing this one thing really connected all those things that i don't have to consciously see, think about it anymore that number one thing is breathing I know what you think, there are gazillion things out there, you heard that before, the head like this, the goggles half-half, yes, you know that. What you will most likely do if you're not coming from a swim background is that you're doing a lot of thinking underwater. You're thinking about probably at least two, three things at the same time. Okay, how's the catch, how's my alignment? You're like trying to think your way through a good swim stroke. Each time you think underwater, you're kind of stopping. It's milliseconds up to seconds and that kind of breaks the rhythm and that way you just get slow. What fixed my rhythm, as I said before, the kick timing was something was always offered me, is really just the breath. So I wanna share with you now how I did it. I didn't make this up, I got this from YouTube myself. So it's basically, I personally didn't know that swim breathing is completely different to normal breathing or anything like that. So how it goes is basically, you have a real quick deep inhale when you get to the side, like And then comes the thing that I, for example, messed up. I messed that pop up. I didn't do it quick and especially not deep enough. So if you don't do that, you break the rhythm and you kind of slow down the whole thing. I tried to yoga style, exhale more or less all the air and then go up again. That is, turns out wrong. Deep, quick inhale. Underwater, you exhale probably only 30% of the air. So actually you keep quite a lot of air in your lung. But when you swim then, somehow it happens that all that air that you inhale quickly and hold a good part of it in your lungs actually, they will just right away get used for swimming, for oxygen, and you will not feel like you're ever ventilating. One month, only think about your breathing. So make sure that your alignment of the head is good, the one that you know, okay, not too much up, not too much down, keep the alignment right, have a quick deep breath in, and don't exhale all the air out. By doing that, I literally feel my, for example, aerobic pace, 120, I feel that 30% easier. I'm not kidding, I can't believe what a dumb breakthrough this is but it works. We're going back to vlog style and all the other videos next week. Follow if you liked the video, subscribe to my journey in pro triathlon and I'll see you next week. Bye.